Hey guys, Paulina here, and today I am going to be answering one question one of my you well one of my subscribers asked me, and I was trying to avoid this, but I know that probably some of you guys might be wondering. Do I have a boyfriend? <laughs> That's the question. I know some of you guys, like, some of my subscribers are, like, my friends, but some are, like, my fans, even though my friends are my fans as well, so it's, it's weird, but anyways, um, my friends know that this answer, and, but they don't know the reason why. So, let me answer this first. Um, so the reason why I didn't really want to, um... I wanted to avoid this question because it was, it's a little embarrassing and, okay, so, no, I do not have a boyfriend, but the reason I don't have one is because of my past relationships, which, like, I mean, like, I don't know if they count because I was actually small when I had my first boyfriends, and, um, basically, like, they weren't bad relationships. It's just that it really affected me. Like, I don't... You'll see when I explain it. But anyways, let's just stop talking and just get started. All right. So, my first boyfriend was um in preschool. <laughs> and honestly, like, that's not, didn't affect why the reason why I don't, uh, don't have a boyfriend or want one right now. But I just wanted to start from the beginning. I only had two boyfriends because the second boyfriend, was, which was the last one, well, is the reason why I don't really have a boyfriend. So, um, okay, my first boyfriend, boyfriend was in preschool and I was small, alright? <laughs> I thought I was in love. <laughs> it was, like, But it was really cute, I gotta say. It was really cute. Because, um, basically, me and him, I'm not gonna say his name, but let's just call him Martin or something like that. All right, so, me and Martin, um, so basically, um, we were like, I don't even know when we started dating. <laughs> I have no idea how, when or how we ended up together, but we did. <laughs> what I do remember is that we would always love playing in the playgrounds and what I also remember was that in nap times we would always lay by each other and just like look at each other and like blow kisses <laughs> so yeah but that time I also thought that boys had cooties <laughs> so it was like a kind of a like weird relationship going on weird things going on in my mind but um basically i really liked him and he liked me and then i think one time we got in we got mad at each other i well he got mad at me i think it was because um i think it was nap time and i decided to actually sleep with my friends <laughs> so i think he got mad <laughs> so yeah basically we're in the playground and i was like i'm so sorry i won't do it again he's like it's okay i forgive you i was like oh <laughs> and then i also remember this other thing that basically we had a kitchen and we as soon as nap time was over we had the choice of playing and like if we wanted to paint or build blocks or like go in the kitchen and i decided to go in the kitchen and he did too so, like, most of you guys would expect a boyfriend and girlfriend, well, I guess boyfriend and girlfriend, to play the mom and the dad, but no. <laughs> I did not want to play the mom. Like, most of my friends assumed I was going to be the mom. They kept saying, like, hey, mom, can I have this permission? I was like, I'm not going to be the mom. <laughs> he ended up being the dad, and I ended up being the daughter. <laughs> I really didn't want to be the mom. <laughs> it's not that I didn't like like it. It's just it, it felt like kind of weird. But anyways, we broke up because um I don't even know how we broke up. All I know is that he moved and yeah. So anyways, let's go to my final one. And I'm like, I'm so sorry if I'm moving this. It's because 
like I'm moving the phone a lot. It's because um, I like placed it in my backpack. <laughs> but yeah, like I'm like I can move it. Okay, there you go. All right, never mind. <laughs> All right, so let's go to my last boyfriend. My last boyfriend. Like I said, I was super small, and the reason, even as a small age, I made that choice on my own. So honestly, even when I was small, I was also kind of mature. So it's yeah. Anyways, uh my second boyfriend was in um so I think I might actually do part two because so far it's five minutes long and I've barely reached my second boyfriend. So but anyways, um uh, um so my second boyfriend was I'll try to be quick. My second boyfriend was in third grade. It was my friend. Well, basically my friend. She liked this boy. I'm not going to say the name again. I'm just going to refer back to like the name Martin again. I'm just. But it's not the same boy I did in preschool. It's just a different one. I'm using the same name. But I feel like that you guys are kind of like. Even I would get mixed up with that. So you know what? Let's just change the name. Let's change it to. um. Louise. Why not? Anyways, uh, so basically, my friend liked this Louis, um, liked Louis. And I was like, okay, cool. He was like, he was a nice boy. He was cute and all. He was, had good grades. He was really nice and respectful and sweet. And I was like, okay, I didn't think much of it because I didn't like him that way. I just thought of him as a friend. Until, like, they started dating. I was like, oh, cool. And I don't know where. I just started having, like... I wouldn't say feelings, but, like, I started liking him a lot. And I was like, what's going on? <laughs> I was like, do I like my best friend's boyfriend? I was like, no, this cannot be happening. Until, like, basically, they broke up. And then I decided to tell her. When she, when I did that, she um basically... <laughs> we had a cat fight. Usually, boys would think a girl would have... Uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> Sorry, I thought someone was knocking, but my mom's outside. She's putting the lights. So, anyways, um, if you guys hear that knocking sound, it's my mom. She's putting on the lights. So, anyways, um, back to the story. When she found that out, oh yeah, well, basically, boys assume that girls would have cat fights, like just go like that, which we actually did that time. Um, now it's different. <laughs> but anyways, uh, we had basically a cat fight. And basically, she was like mad. She was like, how dare you? I'm like, I'm sorry. And then we ended up forgiving each other. But then, um, they made me tell him. <laughs> they literally made me tell him. And he told me he liked me too. So we ended up dating, and um, this was really short. This was a really, really short relationship. It was one day. <laughs> That's why I'm saying it was really short. The longest relationship was in preschool, which lasted a whole year. So, <laughs> but anyways, um, basically, we liked each other. We dated for one day, but the reason, like, we really liked each other, like. We got it. We had so much in common. He was great. I really liked him. And um, basically, we would, like, of course, we would play in the playgrounds. But then my friends started making it super awkward between us. They started, like, Paulina and Louise <laughs> sitting in a tree. Okay, yeah, that, that song. Basically, they are making it super awkward and I started feeling so uncomfortable and everything he would do would make me uncomfortable because my friends, like, I don't mean to blame them, but they made it uncomfortable. Like, I really liked him, but they started making me so uncomfortable with it. So, yeah, I was, like, so, ups like, I felt so uncomfortable. So, I decided to write him a note. <laughs> I decided to write him a note. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry. I really like you. I just, I feel weird being your girlfriend. And I didn't mention my friends. But because I didn't, like, want to put the blame on them. Even though I was blaming on them from the inside. So, yeah. 
but basically we broke up but we still stayed really good friends but honestly i don't even know where he's at anymore <laughs> i don't i for like the only memory i have of him was in third grade after that i think he moved but yeah that was my last relationship and the reason why i don't have a boyfriend or i don't really plan on dating was because of that moment that I blamed my friends like I didn't actually blame them but like from the inside I was like it's because you guys made it so uncomfortable but the reason why I actually the more time more years started coming that I started acting more mature I started having a clear mind and I realized that I was not ready to date and when I think about I don't really think of myself dating I don't know why. I don't know if I'll ever date. I don't know if I'll date this year or next year. Who knows? All I know is that right now, I honestly, I don't really think I'm looking for a relationship. But because the reason why is because a lot of girls would say they're afraid of a relationship. For me, it's completely opposite. I don't think I'm ready for a relationship. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Like, I feel like... If I have a boyfriend, I wouldn't be able to give them what they want. Like, a girlfriend type of girl. Which, honestly, I don't think I am one. But at the same time, I don't know since my last relationship was in third grade. So, But even if I was small, it still affected how I felt and the reason why I don't date. Because I don't think I'm ready. And I don't know when I'll be... I don't even know if I'll date this year or not, but yeah, and all I know is that because of what happened in third grade, I actually liked all boys throughout the years, and they also liked me back, but the thing is that um, because I felt like I wasn't ready, I never like showed it. I never wanted to show that I liked them because of I felt like I wasn't be I wasn't going to give them enough if we give like we have a relationship and I don't know they I'd be ready to be in a relationship cuz if I kept continuing that I really liked him and showing it they'd probably ask me out so I started just acting totally different so yeah I don't that's not really good advice for you guys. <laughs> Honestly, my advice to you guys is don't be forced to date. <laughs> don't feel like you're being forced to date someone, okay? Date when you feel like you're ready. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and until then, bye!